Hey, everybody, and welcome back to The Glass Less Traveled. My name is Mike Verivi. I'm the founder of the Fox Valley Whiskey Society. And today I wanted to do a back-to-back, back-to-back-to-back comparison of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Series, starting with A121, moving on to B521, and then finishing with C921. Um, Now, the Barrel Proof Series is something that was started back in 2013 uh, with C913 and has continued every year since. Um, The Barrel Proof Series, which you can actually see behind me here, uh, this is the entire 2021 series, starting with A, B, and C. Uh, All of them clock in at 12 years old, generally three-digit proof, uh, ranging anywhere from around 120 all the way on up to 140. Um, the brand itself, Elijah Craig, was actually started in 1986, this Barrel Proof series being released in 2013. Each one of these is going to have an MSRP of around $70. Uh, Most of the time, you can generally find it around there if you live in a control state. I live in South Carolina, so I have the benefit of going to North Carolina, which is a control state. I can find it for $69.95 pretty much much regularly. In Illinois, back in the Fox Valley, uh, Benny's generally has it for around $70. You can also find it at Hamar's Eastside Liquor when it comes out in January, May, and September. Uh, You can also try to find it at Malloy's or Safeway, or your local um, independent liquor store, if they get an allocation of it. Um, it does only come out three times a year. It's it's uh, each trimester, so January, May, and September, A, B, and C, 1, 5, and 9. January 1, May 5, September 9. Now, because of the strikes at Heaven Hill uh, earlier this year, just actually just uh, about a month ago, um, the C921 was delayed a little bit. In addition to that, supply chain issues have been plaguing the entire country, and the availability of glass bottles um, has been kind of hurting the distilling and the brewing industry. So this one was delayed a little bit. It did not come out in September. It was released a little bit later. Um But that being said, let's kind of jump into it. So again, this one retails for around $70. Uh, It's a 12-year age statement. Mash bill is 78% corn, uh, 10% rye, and 12% malted barley. So I got my glasses down here ready to go. I got the bottles right behind me. So this one right here is going to be A121. So batch A, released in January 1 of 2021. So A121. Really great nose on there. What I like about the Elijah Craig series is that each batch is going to differ. So you're not going to get the same thing from batch to batch. And that's that's kind of the point. But one common denominator with all of them across the board is that they definitely show their age. Um, being in wood for 12 years has definitely kind of brought through some of those t- uh, uh, some of those wood notes, seasoned wood, aged wood. Some people like to call it cigar box. So you definitely get oak, little hints of like saddle leather. It's a caramel, almost like a, it's like a caramel candy, like a caramel chew. So this one, A121, 123.6 proof. Definitely drinks right around there. Sometimes you get high proof that doesn't really drink that hot. A um, little bit smoother. This one, you can definitely get the heat. There's that that rye, even though it's only 10%, kind of comes through with that pepperiness. Get some like toasted sugar on there. A little bit of sweet tobacco, like walking into a humidor, kind of like if you're finished with a cigar and you kind of, you know, the old timers will start to chew on their cigar. You get that sweet tobacco kind of note in there. English toffee almost. That black pepper is really pronounced. Tobacco is kind of, kind of faint. The toasted sugar or the brown sugar is kind of faint. It's that black pepper that, that comes through. Finish is really fantastic, though. It's very long. You get more of that saddle leather. Um, There's almost a, a s'mores quality kind of to it. You get a little bit of a little bit of graham cracker, a little bit of, of, of marshmallow, some dark, some dark chocolate notes. 
So A121. Um, 123.6 proof. I'd say out of five, I'd give that a four. That's pretty good. Four out of five on that one. So let's move on to B521. So B521 released in May, <clears throat> batch B released in May. 5 of 2021, B521. So it comes in at 118.2 proof, 118.2 proof. This one, ooh. So that graham cracker that came through on the finish on A121 comes through on the nose a little bit on B. Now, <clears throat> Fred Minnick reviewed this one uh, back in May, June when it when it came out. Um, did not really give it a high rating. And I think the Fred Minnick effect kind of is, is something that, that should be discussed. Um, it's a very real thing. People take his reviews as if they're, um, you know, they're as if they're verses from the Bible, as if they're laws of the land almost. Um, he kind of hit the nail on the head with saying that this one was really not the best of the B series. So I 100% agree with him on that one. Historically speaking, the, the B uh, that comes out in May, the B series that comes out every May for me has historically been the best of, of the three that come out each trimester. Um, B520, B519 were both absolutely fantastic. C919 was also fantastic and C920 were fantastic. Um, some of them are, are hit or miss. Some of them have a lot of beautiful oaky notes, Caramel, brown sugar, sweet notes. A lot, a lot of times I get cola in these, like a cherry cola. Um, when I had initially sampled B five twenty one back in uh, back in May, when I had received it, um, it didn't really rate it very high. And if you can see behind me, it's the one right in the middle there. Uh, not a lot has been drank out of it, um, but likewise, not a lot has been drank out of uh, A either. Um, I do, I have, I have. A lot of the barrel proof series, and I have a lot of bourbon to get through. So these are, are kind of special occasions. So now that it's aired out a little bit, where that graham cracker note comes through, a lot of that toasted marshmallow that I got in the finish of A121 comes through on the nose of B521. But still, again, that common denominator is going to be that aged wood, that aged oak or seasoned oak, or some people call it cigar box. A little bit of milk chocolate that I get in there. Again, that's that kind of s'mores profile. Little tiny hints of, of cola. The saddle leather comes through a lot. And I've got a lot of the, some of the sweeter notes that I get that I got from the palette of A121. This one's a little bit more, a little bit more restrained on the palette. So this one comes in at 118.2 proof. So um, almost five whole proof points lower than <clears throat> A121. And this one definitely does not drink as, as high as it's proofed. And, and I, I say that kind of restrained because um, 118.2 proof is very low for the Elijah Craig barrel proof. Typically these are 120, 130, sometimes even 140 proof. This one just very dialed back. It's a little bit mellower. Um, all of them, A, B, and C are gonna be different. And that's kind of what I love about the series is that you can experience a 12 year old Elijah Craig um, at barrel proof. Each one of them is gonna be slightly different. I will say that when I tried this one the first time back in May, I didn't particularly care for it. Trying it again, now that the bottle has been opened a little bit. Um, these have kind of these have been in the glass for about 20 minutes or so. Aired out a little bit, opened up. This one, I don't want to say could use, could benefit from any from from water, certainly not from ice. Um a121 could probably benefit from, from a drop of water. I'll experiment with that a little bit later on. 
I don't like to drink my whiskey chilled on ice. I do like to add a little bit of water sometimes. I think A121 could definitely benefit from for some water. B521 I think is fine just the way it is. For 118.2 proof, it doesn't drink that hot. It drinks pretty mellow, pretty, um, as much as I hate to say it, it, drinks pretty smooth. The nose is opening up a little bit. That graham cracker, that marshmallow, that chocolate is coming through a little bit more. That s'mores profile that I really like to find. A little bit of toasted cinnamon. And the finish, finish is very dry. Very dry. Kind of sucks all the moisture out of your mouth. Um, get a lot more of that wood in there, that oak, those, those, those dry oaky tannin notes. Very long. It's very warm. You can feel it, you know, going down, going through your chest. Palette has got a lot of that leather. I can still get... Some sweeter notes coming through right now. It's actually a little bit sweeter right on the side of the tongue and in the back than it is on the front. Those dry, oaky notes are coming through on the front of the palate. That sweetness, um, kind of restrained sweetness is coming through on the side and on the back on the finish. I wouldn't give this one... I'm actually going to rate this one a little bit higher. I'm going to go 3.75 out of 5 for this one. Um... A121 was just just slightly better. I like the sweet notes on the palate a little bit better on A121. B521, it was just too, it's almost too dry. The nose was fantastic on B521. I'm really glad I kind of revisited it since May um, to give it a, a, a second chance. So now let's move on to C921. This is the one that was just released. <clears throat> so this is batch C, typically released in September 9 of... Uh, every year. So C921. This one comes in at 120.2 proof, 60.1% alcohol. Now we did a review of this one not too long ago. Um, this one just individually, uh, but I really wanted to try all three of them, all three of them back to back. So swirling in the glass, kind of letting it open it up, open it up a little bit. Mm, the nose is fantastic. Get a little bit, a little bit of that barrel char. So I'm at seasoned wood cigar box. Typical notes that you get from, from Elijah Craig. This one's a little bit mustier. Um, I had said before in my in my notes that I took prior uh, when I did this not too long ago, um, it's kind of like walking into an antique shop. You know, you get kind of those musty, dusty notes. This one, that cola comes through a little bit more. But not like a it's like a Dr. Pepper almost. So you get those vanilla, those cherry notes in there. Nose on this one is absolutely fantastic. A little bit of tobacco. Typical baking spice, clove, nutmeg. It's like a faint, almost like a vanilla cake. Woods coming through, the oak, the barrel char. It's like a like a candy note, but like the like kind of like those candies that you would find on like your grandparents' coffee table, like the butterscotch and the caramel candies. Those those wood notes are coming through quite a bit. That note that I got on the nose, that antique shop, that mustiness, very, very faint in the back. This one really hits the middle palette a lot more than it does the front or the or the back. The finish. It's long, it's drawn out. You get that seasoned wood. A little bit more of those black pepper notes that I got in A are, are definitely coming through. Really, really fantastic. 12-year-old bourbon. $70 price point. I'm going to go out of, out of five... I'm going to have to go 
out of five. This one's just really, really fantastic. Obviously not a perfect, perfect score. Not a, not a five, but of A, B, and C. I want to go back. I want to go back to A. Let's open it up a little bit longer. Oh, the nose on A. Some fruit notes that I'm getting now that I did not get before on A. A little bit of pear. Some apple orchard fruits, basically. Apples, pears. That's interesting. I did not get that before. The caramel is coming out a lot more. Those caramel candy notes are coming out a lot more. The toffee in that tobacco is much more pronounced now than it was now that it's opened up a little bit more than it was earlier. So I still get that toffee. I still get that tobacco. That brown sugar, it's a lot sweeter on the palate. That black pepper note that I got earlier isn't as pronounced. I would still leave it. I'm actually going to go for, I'm actually going to change this one. Still, I don't think it's quite as, for my palate right now, quite on par with C921. But I'm actually going to bump this one up from 4 out of 5 to 4.25 out of 5. Just like, just because those fruit notes came in. Um, I like those kind of notes. Um, you typically find that with higher corn content. This one is a 78% corn on the mash bill. You get those fruitier notes that come through. Really kind of um, tells you how how you know good the distillation process and how good the, the grain is that they use. So I'm going to move back on to B. B521. Nose on that one has definitely changed as well. But at that graham cracker, that graham cracker is the most pronounced note on, on B521. It's, but it's not like a, it's actually, it's like graham cracker and butter, like a, like a, like a, like a pie crust almost. The aged wood is just restrained a little bit more. I'm going to actually go up. I might bump this one up too. A little bit of dryness. The leather is still, that saddle leather note is still there. I'm just kind of looking at my notes, just trying to, you know, what I, what I got before. Those leather notes are coming through. A little bit more brown sugar. Like I got on C921, that Dr. Pepper, that cola note kind of comes through. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add to my note cola a little bit. There's a little bit of an herbal note that I got on C921 in my original review that's coming through um, on B521, which is interesting. I'm gonna add herbal. Finish is still very long, very warm. Or dry the that you know that wood is is coming through. It's very interesting. I'm gonna leave that one though, 3.75 out of five. Let's move on to C again, C921. Still oaky, still lots of caramel, lots of uh, lots of wood is coming through on there. <clears throat> you know, I might actually this is in, this is very interesting, and this this happens quite often, you know, especially when you're reviewing back to back to back. Is the more these things sit, the more they open up. You know, you're drinking water, you're adding water to your palate, you're kind of dissolving some of those. Um, 
some of those compounds that are sitting on your tongue and it kind of changes the way you taste and what you taste and, and what you smell. Um, right now I had C921 4.5 out of five, but as I'm going back in my notes and I'm kind of going back and remembering A121 with those fruit notes that I got in there that I did not get initially, I actually am going to flip C921 and A121 and I'm actually going to go, I'm going to say A121, I'm going to cross this out, I'm going to say 4.5 out of 5, I'm going to drop, now that, now that C921 has opened up a little bit, I'm going to drop it, I actually liked it a little bit more, just slightly more, but those wood notes are coming through, I'm going to drop it down from 4.5 to 4 out of 5. So right now, <clears throat> we're looking at A121 in first place. C921 in second place, B521 in third place. And that's really kind of what's interesting about tasting back to back to back. Um, it's not always the best way to do things. Um, but when you typically when I drink bourbon, I'm not only drinking one, I'm, I'm having I'm having one, then another, and then maybe a third or a cocktail. So those those compounds, those flavor compounds that are sitting on your tongue, they dissolve in water, they dissolve with your saliva, so it kind of changes. So for me, for A121, B521, C921, tasting them back to back to back, um, A121 so far is actually my favorite, which is interesting because five, six minutes ago, C921 would have uh, probably would have would have taken the cake. Now the nose is absolutely fantastic, that, that musty antique store nutmegs that cola that dr pepper note comes through c b it's interesting i'm getting some more fruit out of that one and then a yeah the nose on a is the best the palate on on a is the best the finish on C is the best. If I could swap the finish for C and A, I think uh, I think I would. I think I think that would make it really really spectacular. So this is C. Just one more time. Yeah. See, it's that palette. I don't I don't get any of the orchard fruit notes. That I did with A. So this is A one more time. The fruit notes come through on the nose. They come through on the palate. Kind of changes though from the nose is very orchard fruit, apple, pear. Palette is cherry pie filling, apple pie, kind of like stewed fruit. Get a little bit of raisin in there, just like a very, very faint hint of raisin. Sometimes I like to look for, Fred Minnick likes to look for marzipan, which is that almond paste. I oftentimes like to look for maple syrup. It's one of my favorite notes to find in, <clears throat> in bourbon. I don't find that maple syrup in there. I do get a little tiny hint of raisin and that raisin tobacco and fig. Those are kind of it, pretty interchangeable for me. Um, they all kind of have that very similar note. Um, but it's at a for me, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and circle a, so this is one. It's two and B for me is three. So for me, a one twenty one, definitely the first place winner. But I had to go back to it. I had to sample all three of them in succession and then revisit them. Uh, for me, A121 is the winner, followed by C921, and in third place, B521. Now, that's not to say that B521 is, is bad by any means. Um, but for today, my palate um, just did not particularly care for that one as much. The nose on B521 was very interesting. That graham cracker came through, that graham cracker crust, um, you know, the, the graham cracker and butter that you would find in a pie crust really came through. All three of them, because they're, you know, they're 12 years old, they have a lot of that aged wood character. Um, so that's really, really interesting to find. Um, some of some of these, you, you know, I was getting fruit in A. I got um, more 
cola in in C. B was um, you know a little bit herbal. All of them had had an absolutely fantastic finish. Very long, a little dry. Uh, the finish in, in A, I got that toasted marshmallow and a little bit of that chocolate and, and graham cracker in there. Kind of that s'mores thing going on. So just really, really fantastic. Um, would love to do this again. I didn't do this last year with uh, any of the 2020 series. I will try to get to that because I think that would be a really interesting comparison to do all of the 2020 series and then all of the 2021 series. And I think I got 2019 and maybe some 2018 back there as well. Um, what would be very interesting for me would be to try all of the B's together because historically, like I said, the B has been, has been my favorite. Um, but A121, if you can still find it sitting on the shelf, A121, I definitely, definitely recommend picking up Letting it open up for a little bit, maybe adding some water to it. Now I don't have I have my um, my water by my side, but I don't have a little water dropper near me. Um, C nine twenty one, if you can find it on the shelf, it was just released. Typically, it comes out in September, but again, because of supply chain issues and because of the strike um, of the labor's unit at Heaven Hill, it was delayed um, by about forty five. Um, by about 45 days, didn't hit North Carolina. Now I'm in South Carolina. Um, it didn't hit North Carolina uh, until just about a week ago. I don't even know if it's hit South Carolina yet. Um, and I know it for sure is in Illinois, you guys watching from the Fox Valley Whiskey Society. Um, I, I know it's definitely in Illinois right now. Um, I don't know uh, where. I know Binnie's has had it. Um, I don't know. I don't think Hamar's has gotten it just yet. The liquor and wines. Uh, Malloy's may get it here pretty soon. Saveway may get it pretty soon. If you can find it for $70 on the shelf, I definitely recommend picking it up. That's the MSRP, $69.95. Um, I definitely recommend picking it up. Now, it was rumored earlier this year that C921 was going to retail for about $100. That is not the case. <clears throat> um, I just picked mine up. Um, North Carolina, sixty nine ninety five. So, um, and North Carolina is a control state, so you know that they have to sell at MSRP. So, um, you know, if you find it for for uh, for a hundred dollars, and and that's something that you're willing to pay for, um, you know, go for it. If you find it one hundred and twenty, one hundred and forty, one fifty, whatever you find it for, as long as you're comfortable paying that amount for something that you really want. If you need it to complete the collection, you know, if if you collect this particular series, um, you know, go for it. Um, but that being said, I think what I might do is pull out. Uh, the uh, 2020 series and um, record another video, even though we're almost done with, with 2021. Who'd have thought that this year had gone by so fast? Uh, everybody, cheers. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys again 